this is Tracy from Give Basket Appeal, and today we're going to cover this coffee container, and it's, it's real simple and easy um, what I'm going to do with this, but as crafters, we're always looking for some type of storage space, so I'm going to mod podge um, a label on here, but I want to fix it up first using this scrap paper, and um, I really like this paper because it matches the container. And uh, my husband and I drink a lot of coffee, so, um, well, not a whole lot, a cup a day. But these containers, I have so many of them. And so I would like to do something to reuse them. So I figure rather than throw them out, I want to use them for storage. And so I'm going to use these labels also so I can have, I'll know what's in them. I'm going to go ahead and measure these labels. There's three of them on this particular canister. And they're all the same size, so I just have to measure it. And this is going to be around three and a quarter to cover that up totally by three. Actually, three and a quarter by, looks like about two and a quarter inches. So about that, but I could always cut it down if I need to. So I went and cut out my scrapbook paper to fit right over these labels. And so I'm going to use Mod Podge. And like I said, this is a very quick and easy craft. Just if you wanna kinda decorate some storage without really having to get too fancy. This Mod Podge works really good on plastic. Putting on those edges. Another one here. Look at that, just adding that little bit really makes a difference. You can do so much with these. You can actually, if you wanted to spray paint them, you could. But I just want to do something simple with stuff I already had. Okay, I'm going to go over these with another coat, and then we'll come back and attach our label. I've got these labels that are chalkboard labels, which are great for uh, labeling your containers. And this has a pack of 80 labels, and these are called Chocola Chalk um, Labels. And all I'm going to do is take the labels, they have a sticky backing on them, and I like this jagged edge, edge here. So I'm going to use this label. I know there's some, some that are like really smooth labels, but I think this one will go with the whole jagged pattern on here. And so all I'm going to do is just center it and just put it on like that. These chalk labels are so convenient. And look how cute that is, because that and that matches the top. And then I'm going to take my Chocola markers, and these are premium wet wipe markers. Um, they're really good on hard, non-porous surfaces. They work on glass, whiteboards, mirrors, uh, of course, plastics, of course, chalkboards and ceramics. So um, I've got a white marker here, and I'm not even sure what I'm going to label it yet. But I just want to give a little outline around my label. So I'm just going to take my 
markers and just go right around the edge here with some dotted lines. I figured that would help this stand out a little bit more. And look how cute that is. And the nice thing is, is that these can be wiped off, these little labels right here, um, using these chalkboard markers. I'll list the um, link below for the labels and the markers. I want to show you another container that I did. It looks really good. Um, this is another one. I actually covered the top of this one, and you don't have to do that. And um, there's a matching kind of a blue scrapbook paper. And of course, I put another label on here, but outlining that label really brings it out. And so this is just another way to have some decoration for your container. Um, don't throw away those containers because you can always use it for something else. And you can get really basic. I just did these real basic. Or you can get really fancy with them. It's just up to you. I hope this video inspired you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. See you real soon. Bye.